Okay, so we're going to do a quick video on this OCG7 monitor. And what we're trying to find out here is whether there is a color shift that happens as we increase the backlight. So to capture the chip chart, I'm using my Komodo. And I'm using the Canon EF 24-70. to That's what's shooting the chip chart. I'm feeding the Komodo's feed into this OCG7 monitor, and I'm capturing the video that you all are seeing on the Canon EOS R5C. And because this is in Rec. 709, that's what the monitor is able to resolve. That is what I'm going to convert the image to before I upload it to YouTube. So right now, the monitor is set to its lowest brightness. And if I did this right, if I have the math right, I shouldn't need to change my f-stop or stop down the lens. So let's see. Okay, so backlight is zero. So now let's increase the backlight. Get out of there. Let's take a look at this for three to five seconds here. And what we're looking for again are shifts in color, not luminosity because as the brightness gets brighter it's going to change the exposure that's going into the camera so let's just see if there is in fact any kind of color shift so now let's move on to number two or two in brightness rather and that's now two and again i'm seeing more light on the monitor but i'm not seeing a shift in my primaries or my grays going in to some other direction and of course this is early on in the test so let's speed this up and go to number three and now we're looking at number three and again i don't see a shift i'm looking at the blue the red and the green and they're staying fairly well they look the same other than a little brighter again because the backlight is getting brighter now let's go to number four so this is number four and again to my eye blue red and green still look true i'm not seeing the red um, clip that's holding the chip chart on the c-stand go to orange or anything so there isn't a color shift at least not that i can see yet and maybe the vector scope will show me something different when i'm in post so this is now the halfway point and this is where the fan kicks on on this monitor the g7 next generation monitor this is why this one has a fan and the one that most people have or have talked about on youtube doesn't have a fan it's got a speaker instead so that's how you know which generation we're talking about at least initially there are other differences which if people are interested i'll be sure to cover but this is again number five and i'm not noticing a shift in tonality so let's crank it up this is now number six and red still looks red to me, blue still looks blue. It's not going purple or anything, or magenta. And green still looks green to me too. Blacks are not being introduced any shift, you know, like sometimes when you look at dark areas of an image and there is color shift, the blacks get polluted. This still looks black to me. So let's see what's next. So this is now seven. So this is now seven. There are only 10 settings. So we're almost all the way to its maximum brightness. And from what I can tell again, I don't see a color shift. Blue still looks blue to me. Red and green are still true. So let's crank it up. This is now eight, eight out of 10. And again, I don't see a color shift. So this new panel that is in the new generation 
of OCG7 monitors appears to be a lot better than what we had with the previous generation, making this monitor a much better value proposition than it had been previously. So let's crank this up one more time. This is now nine out of 10. And again, red is still red, green is still green. The yellows continue to look yellow to me. I can see the different yellow values between these two. So it still is looking pretty good to me. <laughs> the blue is the one that I expected would go south quickly. And that's because Canon cameras have a thing with the blue channel that typically affects the blue really, really fast. So let's crank it up one more time. And this is now 10 out of 10. This is its max brightness. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm still seeing red and red. I still see yellow as yellow and the different variations of yellow. The blacks aren't polluted. The grays aren't polluted. Green still looks green and blue didn't go magenta on me. So it appears that in fact, they have improved the panel. They did add the fan, which I'm sure you guys can hear it. And there isn't this big giant color shift that some of the comments were talking about. And that's because this is a next generation product. Hopefully this is helpful. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already following the channel and you want to support the channel, please make sure you follow. Until next time, I'm Carlos and I will catch up with you guys in the comments. And if you have any other questions or you want me to cover something else regarding the G7, please let me know and I'll be sure to do that. Until next time, take care. For now, I'm gonna go back to the way I normally shoot, which is between three and four, depending on my scene. There we go. Peace.